Good morning, my Doyle Duckling friends. Today I'm going to read One Perfect Day, and then after the story's over, I'm gonna have a quick little show and tell, so make sure you watch the whole video. This story is about this little hedgehog and his friends. It was a bright, breezy spring day, and little hedgehog and his friends were going for a walk. What a perfect day, smiled little hedgehog, pulling on his hat. Let's see how many new flowers and baby animals we can spot. What a good idea, cheered Badger, and off they went. Oh, look, Fox explained, peeping into a tree. I see baby birds. And I found the first sweet violet, said Rabbit. They're so beautiful. They're fluffy white lambs over here, cried little hedgehog, squeezing through the prickly hedge. But then, oh dear, he puffed. Now I'm stuck. He's stuck in the tree. With a big heave-ho, Fox and Rabbit pulled Little Hedgehog free. Wait, he gasped, my hat is still stuck. Don't worry, here it is, smiled Badger, untangling the hat and popping it back on Little Hedgehog's head. Oh, thank you, beamed Little Hedgehog. Then something in the grass caught his eye. It's a chocolate egg, he cried. Who's having an Easter egg hunt? We are, squeaked the baby mice. Mummy Mouse planned it and now you found the first one. You can have it, said Little Hedgehog kindly. Have fun, said Rabbit. I wonder where the eggs could have could be hidden. And the friends started to hunt high and low. Here, squeaked the baby mice, scampering out of the long grass. We found one. Well done, smiled Little Hedgehog. Suddenly, Mouse cried, Listen, you can you hear that cheep, cheep, cheep noise? I know what that is, declared Badger. Follow me. Up ahead, five fluffy ducklings were darting in and out of the grass. Oh, explained the friends. They look like yellow pom-poms, giggled Rabbit. What a lovely surprise, chuckled Little Hedgehog. Hello, quacked Mother Duck. We're supposed to be going for a swim, but my little ones keep getting distracted. I'll never get them to the river at this rate. We'll help, offered Little Hedgehog. We can look for the eggs on our way. With the friends keeping the ducklings in line, soon they reached the river. I found another egg, squeaked Mouse from amongst the flowers. Nearly there, called Mother Duck. Watch your step. When the ducklings saw the water, they waddled towards it at once, all except two, who darted off into the long grass away from the river. Stop, shouted Badger, you're going the wrong way. Oh dear, sighed Mother Duck, where have they gone to now? Don't worry, we'll find them, said Little Hedgehog, this way. And they all raced after the ducklings into the woods. The friends climbed over logs and hunted through the bushes. As Rabbit peered under the bramble, he found another egg, but no ducklings. I wonder where on earth they could have gone, puzzled Fox. Suddenly, a baby mouse called out, hurry up, they're over here. They rushed after the baby mice, scrambling through bushes and past trees. But when they caught up, the ducklings were nowhere to be seen. You said you saw them, grumbled Fox. They're definitely not here now, sniffed Rabbit crossly. It's not our fault, piped up the baby mouse. You were too slow. Let's not get hot and bothered, said Little Hedgehog. Listen, can you hear that chirping? Everyone followed the sound until they found, sitting under the long grass, one of the lost ducklings. There you are, little hedgehog chuckled, scooping up the duckling into his hat. You'll be safe and cozy in here. Thank you, quacked Mother Duck, racing up. But how can I keep my duckling safe when, why we look for their brother? They can snuggle in my hat offered little hedgehog and so the search began i found another egg called fox me too cried badger but no duckling the friends hunted high and low but they couldn't find the lost duckling anywhere just then as little hedgehog searched along the river bank he discovered something wonderful come quickly he cried look what i found there, nestled in the long grass, were the last three Easter eggs, and snuggled fast asleep with them was the little lost duckling. Hooray, quacked Mother Duck, you found him. 
and all the eggs, cheered the baby mice. Happy Easter, little hedgehog beamed. What a perfect end to a perfect day. And that is the end of the story. And now I have a little show and tell for you. My daughter has a little hedgehog. This is our pet hedgehog, Dixie. She's just like the little hedgehog in the story. She lives in my daughter's room in her cage and she feeds her and takes care of her. She doesn't wear a little hat though, but we think she's really cute and fun to play with. There she is, there's Dixie. Say bye, Dixie. Have a good day, my Doyle friends. Bye.